Robin, first of all, tell us about your involvement in the awards tonight. Well, I've been invited along. Um, obviously, there's a book about the great genius that was John Curry. Um, so I'm, I'm thrilled to be available and to, to impart a little bit about what I knew of the man. I was obviously a teenager at the time that he was starting his venture towards the Olympics. So whilst we really had nothing in common other than the fact that we used the same surface, I got to observe how John conducted himself, how he conducted everything around him, and how he focused towards what he wanted to do the way he wanted to do it in 1976. For me, for the three years then leading up to my 1980 Olympics, I was able to draw from some of those things and I got to witness firsthand how somebody else had done it before me. We had the same coach, so whilst we certainly didn't have any performing styles in common, if John could do it the way he wanted to do and make it work, I knew that if I focused, I could do the same. And I was very fortunate that I did. Are you a fan of sports writing generally? Do you read an array of sports books? Um, not so much. I, I like to have my memories of what I knew, as, a, as I say, as a 17, 16, 17-year-old growing up around John. We became better friends post-Olympics when we had more in common. Um, but because he was so geared towards the artistic side of what he wanted to do, and I was very much commercial, I loved performing, I loved everything about the, the glitz and the glamour of it. But it is interesting then to, to meet someone like Derek Thomas and know his history from his point of view. And I think it's great that there is such an array of sports out there, no matter who you are, what you want to do, it's always the same thing that everybody has in common, and that's the common desire to do the best you can with what you do. Quite an occasion, this isn't it? Famous Fantastic. Everyone. My first, and hopefully not my last. Thanks very much, Robin. Enjoy Appreciate the evening. It.